It's my honor and pleasure to introduce to you the head football coach at the University of Minnesota, Jerry Kill. When Coach Kill was first hired, you know, there was a lot of fans who, you know, were like, oh, who is this guy? Not, this is not the guy we wanted. I actually heard some people say Coach Kill, like Coach Kill, who everybody's going to have their opinion, but, but as far as players, you know, we, we can't really say anything about it. Hey, Coach, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. We're here to play football, and we're going to give it our all. I mean, that's, that's why we, we're giving scholarships. People are naturally going to be skeptical, especially in this day and age with the internet and, and how quickly people can get information. People want things you know, right away and they want it to be what they think is best. Get good and loose because you better be moving. Who they should have hired and who they could have hired. To say it doesn't bother you, I mean it does a little bit, you know. But at the same time, is the opportunities there for us to, to prove ourselves, which we've done at every job that we've taken. When Coach Kid was hired, move, move your hands, move. hadn't heard his name, uh, really didn't know that he coached uh, at Northern until I did further research. Just the whole coaching staff, you know, what they did at Northern Illinois, you know, bringing them from the bottom, bringing them back up, winning ball games big, big, against big time programs. I just, I love what I, everything I heard from. We all looked at Northern Illinois' schedule and who they played. I mean, we all did our background checks individually. And as far as we know, Coach Kill can can compete with the best of them. That's really all that matters. I started looking at his resume and I was like, we don't need anyone. This guy is done. He's won everywhere he's gone. We'll take a look at practice. One thing that, that sticks out the most, the, the coaching staff, they know each other really well. I mean, they've been, they've been with each other for 15 or more years, you know, depending on the coach. Seven of us that are on the staff right now have been with Coach Kill for at least 10 years. I think any time that you have that in, in this level, it's unusual. And one of the advantages of hiring a successful head coach is the fact that he can bring a staff and who's been through a lot of wars together and, and trust each other. Uh, I still remember our first year at Southern Illinois, we went one and 10, and not one time did the offensive and defensive guys go at each other. None of us turned on each other in a one and 10 season. Two years later, we won 10 games. Through all that, there's a bond that if you work together and you enjoy working with each other, that you can accomplish a lot. In the meeting. There's definitely some things you can tell with how close the, the coaching staff is. You can tell they've worked together because they know what to expect from each other. I can sense how close the coaches are when we're in the film room. You can tell when Coach Lamgrover says that our technique is a little bit off that it might uh, um, affect the tight ends with what the tight ends are doing. You see that right there? If he comes a little tighter, you're in trouble. But you're spending time on a guy you have no business spending time on. That just shows that uh, Coach Lamgrove and our tight ends coach are, are uh, right on key with what they're trying to do also. That says a lot in itself and on who Coach Kill as, is, is as a person. You know, just keeping, keeping people together and you know, bringing them from this place to this place. And, and just the willingness to, to, to keep on moving. Bringing an identity of having a coaching staff that's been together for so long and they know what to expect from each other, I think that's the biggest thing because as they know what, what each other's expecting, the players can learn that quicker. You know, you don't have two different coaches on different accords. You have everybody on the same accord, knowing what's going on and knowing what to expect. You face the question really everywhere you, you go. You know, we've all been Division II coaches. We went to 1AA. Well, they're Division II coaches. They won't win here. We won there, went to you know a MAC school. Well, they're one double A coaches. Let's see how they do in one A. Well, they, we won there. Now it's okay. Well, they're coming from the MAC. Let's see how they do in the Big Ten. Coach Kill is is a guy that's always had a plan in mind, had a game plan, uh, had people who believed in that plan. We know if we go about doing what we think we do best, that I think good good results are going to follow. Hustle back! Hustle back!